Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Jenna and I like to do get ready with me chit chat videos about once a month, maybe every other month. I just find them a really good way to just hang out, chill, catch up, talk about various topics without it being so, I don't know, random in a day in life. Uh, so it is Saturday. My husband Zach is upstairs playing with the kids. Um, he didn't work today, His over, he didn't work overtime today, so he's hanging out with them, and we do have plans. We are going to be, as you guys saw in an earlier video, my best friend had her baby, and so we're gonna go over there and go see the baby. I'm so excited, Navy gets to meet her future bestie, well, she is her bestie, because she's alive now, so, well, she's bored now, if you know what I mean. So I'm just so excited for all the kids to meet the baby, and then Savannah can also play with her friend, and... It'll be a really good time. Sorry, I'm trying not to be so woo, all over the place. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do some light makeup. I feel like I've been doing light makeup a lot more often this week. I don't know why. My eyebrows just drive me insane. Like, I have such deep hair pores. I don't really want to talk about that the entire time I'm doing this. I have various topics and things that I want to talk about but apparently I forgot some eyebrows I hate that well I was plucking them somewhere else and I guess the lighting wasn't great because I missed a whole bunch what in the heck okay I don't use primer I really should use primer but my skin is super uh dry so I use the CeraVe love it and it's for normal to dry skin this stuff is expensive but I really like it and I used to use a primer, but I don't use like full coverage. Like I don't cover my face in makeup like I used to. And when I say used to, I mean, okay, so I moved out of my parents' house in 2014. And that's when I really, really started getting into like watching YouTube because before that, I never watched YouTube, you guys. Like maybe every so often it was like Jenna Marbles and stuff like that. And it was just for fun. And there's like this other channel, this guy was funny, and that was about it. Like I never really watched much of it. Um, I was just so busy when I was in high school. And then when Zach, and then like before Zach and I moved together, I was in my first year of college and I was super busy working oh, over 30 hours a week, full-time student. And then I would go see him because we did kind of long distance, like it wasn't far, but it was still about 25 minutes away. And so we were like driving back and forth and in my free time, I wanted to spend all the time with him. And so it was just really back and forth. And so I didn't have a lot of free time to watch stuff. So I didn't do it. But then when Zach and I moved in together, you know, I got to see him more. And then that's kind of, I was like, you know what? I need to learn more about makeup. And I went to YouTube. And that's when I found everybody like Jacqueline Hill and every, like that was just the time. That blackhead is so deep. Um, and so I got super into makeup and stuff and I have so much of it. Like I, I need to get rid of it. Like this bronzer palette that I've been using from Morphe. This thing is so old and it's probably not good for me to use on my skin. But I mean I hit pan on all of them and yeah, it's really bad. So I have some old makeup. Not one, like that's probably the oldest that I actually put on my face. But I just remember... I wish I could go back. Like, I used to spend so much money on makeup. If I could go back in time and be like, Jenna, chill. You're not going to need. You don't need, like, six Morphe palettes, okay? Because I had moved out of the house. Yeah, I had bills and stuff, but I was working all the time. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to buy it. And, yeah, so I used to just spend, like, crazy on that. And then I worked in the shoe store, so I would, in return, buy shoes from the shoe store. Because I was like, okay, I need these for work. Jenna, you don't need like 30 pairs of shoes, okay? Like I just, the things you know now when you're older that you wish you could tell your younger self, that is one thing I would for sure tell myself. Sorry, Junior's nails. Junior's like right under me. There he is. Um, I would tell myself, Jenna, chill on the dang spending. Okay, we're already like five minutes in and I'm just, okay. What am I doing first? I need some new concealer. So I use the Naked Concealer, um, Urban Decay, and I'm in a really pale shade because you guys see I'm very pale. And Zach got me this um, 
this mirror for Christmas and I love it. It's so nice. It has like a little light. See? Super nice. Uh, fancy. Which I needed because my other one was broke. And I, like I said, I try not to put a lot of makeup on. Because my face can be dry and then I feel like it just looks really cakey. I don't even use foundation anymore because foundation, it's so hard for me to find a good one. And the one that I found has like exactly like this, an applicator like that. And I felt like it was making my skin break out. So I stopped using it. And then in the summer, I barely need any concealer because I don't wear makeup a lot. So I just, I just don't. Yesterday, I went to the chiropractor because... I should have went right after we got back from Disney. However, I did not. I should have, like I said, I know better. I've been going to the chiropractor since 2009. And uh, let me turn that off. Ah, no! I should have been, I should have went. Um, but about two weeks ago, my jaw came out. I have really bad TMJ and it's gotten worse uh, with the more kids I have and such. And that's because of throwing up every single day that I'm pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant, but because of that, I have developed grinding my teeth really, really bad, especially during the day. Uh, but at night is really bad. And I lay on this side. And so my jaw has been bad. And I haven't been able to really open my mouth all the way to eat. And I noticed it was really bad when we had tacos. And I couldn't. And it hurt. So I went to the chiropractor. I got adjusted everywhere. My neck was so out. About five out of seven places. It was really bad. And... So I got that fixed and then my jaw he had to he tried using it doing it with his hands and it didn't work so he had to use this like gun applicator thing and it just like pushes it in there it was so bad he said I needed ice it or my side of my face is gonna be bruised I don't see a bruise yet but boy it hurt I'll tell you that it was extremely painful this morning when I woke up, it was so freaking bad. Oh my gosh, it was painful. It was bad last night because I, so Zach got off work, I went to the chiropractor, and then my parents needed to go to Sam's, and they don't have a membership, so they use me and mine. Um, and so I went with them, and it was really hurting, and I came home, and I should have, should have iced it, but you know how that is when you're a mom, and you come home, and your kids, and you know, you just do everything for them, and... Zach and I had a movie night, date night together, just at home. It wasn't anything special, but it was fun. Like, that is my love language, is doing stuff together like that. I really like watching shows or movies together. Like, I just really enjoy that. I love, love doing that. It's really, it's just fun to be able to talk about together. And my jaw is killing me right now, just doing this, resting driving me nuts oh but I got a few things at Sam's I obviously didn't film but I just got a little bit because you guys know last video I talked about financial goals really getting strict on the budget um even though we already budget to begin with I'm getting even more stricter be more strict not stricter more strict because I just really want to a new vehicle I really do so bad you know when you get something in your head that you want and that you really want to work towards and it just like it's probably unhealthy consumes you that's how I feel I feel as if it's just consuming me and my thoughts and I just really I just want that for us it would just make life so much easier I would feel much better about having another vehicle yeah the payment is gonna suck Sorry, it really is. It's going to be absolutely terrible. I hate car payments so much. And so that's why I'm trying to get everything together. And it's just important to us. It's important to take care of our family, to do that. It would just be so nice. And speaking of that, I know I had people like ask, oh, how can we, you know, support you, this and that. And honestly, you guys just watching my videos and just leaving a thumbs up that's it that is the best and most supportive thing that you guys can do it's just watch the videos that's all because i couldn't do any of this without you guys i appreciate you guys i'm very honest and transparent with my journey and how my youtube journey has been and where i started from and speaking of that it was just so crazy so sometimes savannah likes to watch back videos uh on my channel and so there's some that are privated 
Um, and then there's like some public ones she likes to look back and watch on. And I also find it's really good when you are on YouTube, if you've been doing it for a few years, to reflect, especially if you're in a rut. So this is to my fellow YouTube friends. If you are even in general in life too, like if you are in a rut, you should look back at how far you have come. So that's what I try to do. Whenever I'm feeling in a rut or like I'm stuck or it's not worth it, especially with my weight loss journey, I do this a lot. Again, I don't know if this is toxic that I do this, but I look back on my before pictures because I haven't worked out the last two days. So Thursday I got my allergy shot, didn't work out because you can't when you get your allergy shot and I didn't want a reaction. Yesterday, I my body was hurting so bad in my jaw and so I didn't work out because I was going to the chiropractor. But tonight, uh, before bed, I'm going to be working out because I'm just way too busy um, this, this morning and then this afternoon. And so I'm going to do it tonight. But I was feeling, I was getting in my head. And I know that it's a problem. And I know it's, you know, body dysmorphia, all that stuff. But I, uh, the days I don't work out, I feel like I am gaining weight again or getting big and it's just not a good thought to feel that way you know like because you're supposed to give your body rest and you're supposed to chill listen to your body and so that's what i did was listen to my body and i tried not to overindulge in my diet and i tried not to have night snacks and you know i just tried the best that i can and you know guys know i started the new um uh what is it a new weight loss journey for myself like I wanted to lose another 10 pounds and it's been rough because you know I started and then my, my allergy I just had a I've had a lot of things going on like a lot of busyness and so I, I know I'm making excuses and I keep telling myself that but I have been busy and so I'm trying to navigate this with not being busy and I also think it's really hard I think I lost so much weight last year because it was nice outside so I could work out during the day on my Peloton and then at night I was outside playing with my kids and I was walking taking walks with them as well so I was getting double the exercise in and this crappy weather makes it so freaking hard because you can't go outside it's so cold or in Ohio it's nice one day and then not the next and so when it is nice I'm outside picking up dog poop so we can play and then by the time that's done and we do all that then it's time to go inside and eat or naps and it just stinks I'm ready for this nice weather I'm ready to just be able to play outside every day burn some energy kids energy burn some of mine I'm just ready for nice weather and I some days it feels like it's never gonna come obviously I know it's going to but it's hard it's hard when you don't leave the house and yes I know I do it to myself I know other moms leave the house and all that stuff and Here's the thing, I don't need to leave the house. Oh my God, this eyeliner is terrible. I'm doing a shloop job. Okay, well we learned something. I can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time. Absolutely not. My allergies, even though I got my shot, my allergies are literally all over the place. Because it was snowing yesterday and now it's nice and sunny. Not, I mean, it's still very cold outside and windy. But it's just like, get your SHIT together. Like the whole United States is just all over the place with the storms. And But I think my uh, new goal is definitely going to hit as soon as it gets nice outside. Because like I said, I can go outside, get out more, and then I won't feel like I'm in such a rut. And I know other moms can relate to this because it's just so hard. Oh, what I was saying about getting out of the house... I feel like whenever I get out of the house, I spend money and I don't want to spend money. Like I'm on a budget and I don't like going to certain parks and stuff by myself without my husband because like there's one, but it's like a lot of wooded areas. It just makes me really nervous. Um, and then there's like another one and that's okay, but it's just, it's really muddy right now. We went there the other day and it was so bad. So we had to go to like to the school's playground and that was nice, but it's just, it's hard. It's hard. I'm ready for better weather. I know everybody is. Everybody's ready for summer. Everybody is ready to get back to the routines. I know I am. I'm so ready and I'm ready to go camping. That's something I'm very excited for. But we got to book. We haven't booked any camping trips yet. That's what really sucks. It really does. We need to I need to get on it this month. 
after I get paid. I'm just going to be honest. After I get paid from YouTube, I'm going to book one or two um, camping trips for us because that's something we really enjoy. We're not going to be doing any big vacations this year because we already did Disney. So it's just going to be camping. Like that's all we're going to do. We'll go to the zoo. Um, what do you guys have planned this summer? Because that's all that we plan on doing. I like hit pan on all this and you see I'm still trying to like it was such a good palette this is what I use to blend my makeup is just not superior but I don't like to cake it on like I used to back eight years ago but I really wanted to say is this is so weird doing it like this because I look oh I look funny but I really want to thank you guys so much for all of your support with all my videos watching them commenting and just supporting me in general like i really appreciate you guys so much like i said i couldn't oh i thought somebody was here they locked zach in the bedroom <laughs> gosh they locked him in the bedroom <laughs> the kids are laughing they locked zach inside of maverick's room <laughs> oh my god Anyways, like I was saying, I really want to thank you guys for all of your support on all my videos. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you following me on my journey. I appreciate all of your love and support. I appreciate when I share the troll comments that I get on my weight loss journey. You guys coming and helping me and defending me. Like I don't, I'm just sharing it to show you the ignorance of some people and what they say. Like I'm not sharing it for you guys to like go and say something back to them because I don't ever want that. But some of the comments are very na uh, nasty, you guys see. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I just want you guys to know, I know I've said this before, but it was a long time ago. Whenever I feature a product or something on my channel, I hope you guys know that I genuinely use it and love it. And I think you guys know that because you see Love Every a lot on my channel. And that's just one of the brands. Um, but I've worked with them a lot and I just love their play kits. Like, they're so amazing. And my kids play with them all the time. All the toys. You guys see it on my Instagram. Like, they just love the toys and the play kits. And I love having that. Sorry, I got to focus for a second while I'm doing this. And I love doing love every time with them because it's, like, really one-on-one -on -one time. Maverick really enjoys it. And it's just something that I really love. So, getting to the point. I hope you guys know whenever I do feature a company or a product on my channel and I link Amazon or whatever it is sorry for the nails I love it like it's a product that I love there have been many products where I will receive them and then I don't share them with you guys because I don't like them and I had one company get really mad at me for that actually because I didn't like the product and I was like I'm not going to promote something that I don't like and I don't use sorry it's not going to happen and they wanted me to like mail it back and the thing is the product like you can't resell it if you mail it back because it was something that you like use for your body like yeah and so it's like I'm not gonna no I'm not gonna do that it's just not gonna happen I think I can say what it is because it was I'm not gonna say the company but it was like a toothbrush and a toothpaste the toothbrush was okay but the toothpaste was oh, no mm -mm absolutely not couldn't do it i was like oh i tried it a couple times and i'm like this is not no it's not getting better and uh yeah they didn't they didn't appreciate that but i'm not gonna promote something that i don't like and i don't use myself i love all of the products that i share with you guys so that's why i share them with you and then if something ends up wrong with them like i had this vacuum and i shared it and i i explained to you guys i didn't get paid for it they would not pay me and it was months and months and still to this day still message them nothing i complained all this stuff nothing and i still kept it because i i did like it and you know i had a lot of conflicting opinions about it i did take it down and then i put it back up and took it down and i still to this day feel that way but it's just something like i i did i really genuinely like it and i still use it like that's just that's the thing and so i want to thank you guys for all of your support and just know that I couldn't do any of this without you, without your support, without your comments, your likes, everything. So thank you so much. And oh my gosh, Junior, <laughs> what are you doing? He's just like pacing around. He loves to just like, 
those nails we need to take them to the vet to get them cut they're really bad but i think i'm all done i just i think i'm gonna i am i know i said i shouldn't straighten my hair anymore but i think i'm going to because i'm so over curling it you ever get like that in that phase where you do something ugh, to your hair for a certain amount of time and then you're just over it and you don't want to do it anymore that's how i feel like i've been in such a curling phase and i got my hair cut short and it's grown out and now i like it straight I don't know. It's just a phase. I just get like sick of the same thing all the time. I love my short hair though. I'm not going back to long hair. I feel like short hair is it's easy and manageable for me to take care of when it was long. I never wanted to take care of it because it was just so long. And then when I like, obviously when I did do it, it was nice. You know, I thought it was cute, but I don't know. I'm just, I just like it short. I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling and talking to you a lot. Like a, it's kind of like just hanging out with my friends, you know, just talking to you guys. Like, that's what I think of you guys as. It's just my friends hanging out, chit-chatting about life, mom life, relatable mom life. That's what I'm here for. I am, like, so into bins. Like, this makeup bin is the bomb. I think I got this for, like, $2 at Meyer or something. I love it. I just put all my makeup in there, and then I put it underneath the, um, in the vanity in my half bath, and it is just, it's perfect. It works out great. I think that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, chit-chatting, getting to know me a little bit more, and just know that I really do appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for staying around for my journey. And if you do go back and watch cringe videos, like old videos of mine, <laughs> just know that my editing has changed a lot, my filming. Um, <laughs> I feel like I, I know now I feel I know I have changed so much as a person like I'm just so different now and I really do feel so much more confident in myself and in my own skin and I think that motherhood has definitely done that for me I know that motherhood has done that for me because I feel like I was just so in between and didn't really know and what's so insane is I know I should end this this is really long I apologize but um in April so next month, it's going to be four years uh, since I've been a, became a stay-at-home mom. That's so crazy to me because I didn't know how long I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. You know, if we were going to have more kids, this and that. Like, if we were going to be able to just with... Because I was pregnant, actually, um, in between Maverick and Savannah. And that ended up, like, I became a stay-at-home mom. So, like, I was done with my job. I let them know, like, months in advance and... It was Easter and then I had a miscarriage after that. And so that was, that was a lot. And I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And, you know, I was doing reselling then. So, you know, dove into that. But it was just, you know, you just think back, you know. And it's all about the journey. It's all about how you, you know, how you get there. And I just, it, it's also really hard for me sometimes to look back at old videos because, I could tell I was really uncomfortable with myself. Like I wasn't confident in my own skin. I was just very kind of like, eh. And I think that I know that had to deal with my weight and how I felt about myself. So watching back those old videos, there's some of them like the kids love the camping ones. The kids love to watch the camping ones. Savannah loves that. She wants to go camping so bad. She asks me every day, can we go? And so when we watch those and I see myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just you just live and you learn and it's really cool that I have my channel to just see how I've developed and how I've changed and how I have grown into the person that I am like I just find that really interesting so I that is one thing I absolutely love about YouTube and since I've started it is just seeing how much I've changed like my first ever vlog I'm gonna actually link it I'm gonna link it if you've made it this far in this video props to you but I'm gonna link it and you guys should just watch it it's very it's very interesting to see the growth that's all I have to say the growth uh, yeah I mean you gotta think when I made that yeah I had been a stay-at-home mom for a month so it was May 2019 I made that it's very crazy but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me if you did please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you guys would like to see more if you guys have any questions you want me to do a QA, and a uh, I could do assumptions about me I can do just do whatever I can do it in a day in the life like I think those are really fun and that's how you get to know 
you know, your creators that you watch or your fellow YouTube friends. Like, I just find that really interesting. So, I'm going to go and put Navy down for a nap so then we can go see my best friend's baby. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, I'm biased, but she's literally adorable. She's so perfect. But I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Sets them off.